Okay, so this is going to be like a first of probably not too many cigar reviews. Cigars are not something that I do very often. I don't, I don't smoke them too often. I'm a very frequent cigarette smoker, but I do not smoke cigars that often because they are a very expensive hobby. Um, so, but I have been talking to this person uh, who's called on YouTube Global Traveler, and uh, it has got me in the mood to smoke a cigar and drink some drink some beer and see how the two pair. I've been talking to this to, to this person about that. So I got a couple cigars, but this one I'm going to smoke is the Cuban Stock Classic. So we're going to go ahead and do that and see how this is. And um, I, apparently this one is supposed to be like a full body cigar. Um, and I'm going to have it with these uh, clown shoes. My worry is that if this is a full body cigar, the, then this being a, you know, a big... This isn't huge, but it's not light. It's not like your it's it's not a Miller Lite. It's not an an MGD. It does have some stuff going on there. So my the problem is when you have something that's very very strong along with something that's very very strong, you can have a bad thing. That's like that. That's like with food pairings. You you pair beers or wines or liquors with foods, um, where either. Where in one of the pairs, in in one of the pair, uh, you have one that is very strong, one that is not so much. So we'll see what this what this ends up being. Um, I would say that my favorite cigars are probably Camachos and Cohibas, which are kind of expensive. It's kind of a looks pretty tightly wrapped to me, like very tight. So sort of tight wrapped. I'm not sure. <sighs> smells uh, smells like a, like a peppery thing happening, like a natural to, natural na natural tobacco kind of thing. So I'm also gonna, mo mostly gonna, gonna, gonna talk about how do you smoke a cigar the real way. Now I'm not I'm not a cigar expert. Um, this isn't something I do very but very often. It's something I do every once in a while, and when I do, I you know I try to make the best out of it. So I'm gonna kind of go through the things that um, are that are pretty much what you should try at least try to do. They don't always work. Like when we when we come to lighting it, that that's something that doesn't always happen in my in my opinion. So one thing that is probably necessary is to have noticed is that these is that. Cigars, if you want a good one, you're probably gonna spend about ten ten dollars each. Those are that that's what that's when you in my opinion you start to get having you start to get to having good cigars, like very good ones. Um so and they also are are not gonna have a hole, you're you're, you're gonna have to cut it. So you need a cutter like this so that you can cut it in in whatever way you want. Now some people will cut it further down or they will cut it at an angle. Uh, I'm kind of just I'm kind of regular about that. You kind of just put it where you want it to be, cut, and then you just do so. Testing the draw. So it's a good thing to, to to test the draw to make sure that you've cut it at least in a way that you can take real puffs out of it. Now I think we have, oh, it smells really nice. So this is a Cuban Cuban stock classic cigar. Uh, just when, whenever you see the word Cuban, that just means that it's used with, they use Cuban seeds or they do it in the Dominican Re Republic or something like that having to do with cu that the actual Cuban cigars. So let's get into lighting it. Now, some people have like real cigar lighters. I don't have one of those. Um, they have like real cigar lighters where you can, you know, um, where it makes it easier to do what I'm about to do. So when you smoke a cigarette, you're just going to put it in the flame and you're going to just put the, put the cigarette in the flame and then th that's fine. With this, that's not, that, that isn't the idea. You're going to want to put it above the flame and sort of turn it and try your best not to get it in the flame because if you do, 
you could possibly you're gonna have some charring and your the flavor experience will not be as good now it, it's okay if that happens you'll still you'll still have a good experience but it's best to not let the flame go into the top of, of the cigar so we're gonna go ahead and give that a try and once you kind of have a good thing going on here then you can you know sort of see how it's starting to smoke a little bit even though I'm not putting it in the thing in the flame I suppose I am a little This is just a trick of, you know, doing that. And getting it all sort of charred a little bit. This is the idea. <clears throat> Sometimes it takes a while. See, I kind of made a mistake because I think that the flame did go into the cigar a little bit. I don't know if you saw that, but it probably did. So let that one sort of cool a little bit, this lighter. So we're kind of now getting there. Shit. So yeah, I kind of messed up. We're kind of getting to that point now. Where we can sort of nicely puff on a little bit. And the idea is that when you have it lit, you won't have a nice circular and you won't have a jagged uh, line. And as it, as it goes down, the ash will not be jagged, it'll be circular, and you'll have a nice, even, it's sort of, I did sort of a good job, but not, could have been better. So, when you're puffing on it, the best thing is not is not to inhale. It's not what you want to do. So I'm going to slight, lightly place this on there and see how it prepares for the beer. <clears throat> and if it if it goes out, you can light it again, and it'll be a little bit easier this time, I think. But I don't think it's going to. And I love the aromas of this cigar. Another thing you can do is, even though you're, is you can even if you're puffing and you just blow out, you can retrohale through, 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 through your nose. Here, I'll try to. It's kind of difficult after you haven't done haven't haven't done it for a while. Little little bit there. And that kind of <clears throat> helps you get a little bit of that flavor. Just just a little bit more. Now I think I do have a pretty good <clears throat> pretty good um <clears throat> pretty good uh line here. So we'll see how this pairs with pairs with the beer.
just like make it be a relaxing experience you know just slowly puff on it it's not like you're hot boxing a cigarette here this is a different kind of thing if you're a cigarette smoker this is different from that if it's it's you know it's a very different kind of a better experience and you're kind of paying for that you're, you are paying for that experience See, I did kind of a good job. Kind of. So that label is coming off. But overall, like, I'll pull it back a little more. See, that is kind of a basic idea of what you want you don't like I see I have a little bit over here like where it's not so perfect but when I first started doing this I would have it like this like all around like this so that's a decent job not perfect there are avid cigarettes cigar smokers out there who do a lot better than me but that's a basic idea of what you want I think beer along with liquor does pair well with cigars. I think it might be I think this this one this uh this is the this is the clown shoes chocolate chocolate sombrero. I think I'm really having a nice experience right now, so I'm going to go ahead and go do that. Uh let me know in the, in the comments if you have any questions. Um obviously I'm not an expert, but you know I've done this a little bit, so let me know your thoughts and thank you very much for watching.